So for 2022, I thought it would be interesting to do a garage check to show everybody all the machines and where they are right now. Of course, things are always in a constant state of change. So this is my 1995 Polaris Explorer 400 4x4 that I purchased for $1,500. I had a Polaris Trail Bros 325 I paid $900 for, did a little bit too, and sold for $1,500. So that leaves me about seven or eight hundred into this when I got it. Uh, bought some wheels. Uh, got this Victory Off-Road 4,500 pound fiery red winch that actually they sent me for free. So that was pretty cool. It did have to pay for installation. Uh, and I'll show where it had some dents in the front. Sub front subframe was bent, so that's been fixed. Actually, Motorcycle Medic that I use a lot had some extra parts from an old Polaris they use, so I just had to pay for labor, so that was pretty awesome. Put on some ODI locking grips, and the winch actually has a remote. Got a video on that. So for a one owner that still has an owner's manual, not too shabby, two stroke. And I've got a video on that. This is my 2013 Polaris 850 Scrambler XPLE also has a super atv winch on it got this for 5400 dollars, which is not too bad new they sell for 10 used usually six to eight grand so in really good shape has a little bit of mileage on it but overall not bad there's the digital odometer screen has power steering has the fox podium racing shocks all the way around this thing is really fun and very fast it has an awesome exhaust note for a factory machine so that thing's been really fun to ride when i've had a time to ride it sort of like the trophy truck of atvs as i titled my video this is my newest but still not purchased new my 2021 Yamaha YFC 450R SE Special Edition. Got it from a guy that had only ever ridden it on the highway. You can see from the video there, you can tell from the back tires and the scraping half the metal gone on the rear bumper guard. So really the only thing I had to do with it. Uh, bought some new tires off of Amazon. Actually bought some fronts and backs. I put the fronts on my Raptor I'll show you in a minute. So it looks pretty good. That was $200 for the whole set. So basically hundred bucks for the rear tires. I uh, bought a new rear grab bar for $60, put that guy on there, and put some ODI locking grips on it. It actually had locking grips on it, but I didn't care for those, and it's been amazing and really fun to ride. I still, I've got a fuel optimizer for it, and I need to pick up an HMF exhaust. I'll do that one of these days, and otherwise, I'll pretty much ride it. It's been really fun. Big fan of this guy. This is my somewhere between 99 and 2001 to 03 Yamaha Warrior 350. I can't, the frame's been painted. There should have been silver. Looks like it's been painted three times because you can see the blue and then the black. Uh, I got this guy for $800, quote unquote running. Uh, the carburetor is dripping gas pretty steady. Front brakes were locked up and the plastics were I thought I could save them, but they were pretty crappy. So I uh, put these blue plastics on instead of the black that were covered in bumper stickers. So far, locking grips. Um, quote, new, uh, new used plastics have gone on it. Uh, seat cover, it needed that really bad. Uh, put on a new fuel pet cock. Uh, I've got a new carburetor to put on it. I've got uh, brand new brake rotors for 40 bucks off Amazon I'll put on it and should be good to go and i've actually got the piece to replace here so that my reverse and uh, neutral lights will sit right here but otherwise hopefully it'll be good to go we'll see how that goes put a new clutch cable on it uh spray painted the wheel wells and i do have the hill guards to put on there as well it's got these weird back tires that are like lawn tractor back tires so i'll probably if you can see compared to there I'll probably try and switch those out. It's got a little bit of an oil leak at the bottom of the case. I need to take a look at that and see if I could maybe just do a little JB weld or something on it. Uh, I don't have a lot of money in this, so I don't want to put a lot of money more into it than what I've already done. Put an ignition in at the 
hood cover that was on it before they just rigged up a power switch and you know put some new bolts on it actually bolted the plastics on so they're not just flopping around so that was definitely an improvement but looking forward to riding this it's a 350 cc four stroke six speed uh, one of the first if not the first uh manual four stroke four wheelers i believe so it'll be fun to get that sucker out on the trail and give it a shot uh not sure if i'll keep it or not but definitely want to get a few rides in on it and then this is my 2009 yamaha raptor 700 r uh, i got it for 2600 dollars uh again one of those air quotes for running it it would start but it wouldn't stay running so it turned out it needed a new fuel pump uh the clutch was pretty much fried on it so put a motorcycle medic put a brand new henson clutch on it for me put a new hood on it new hood piece new front tires they were done uh, the back tires were pretty good plastics are in decent shape no no cuts or major scratches just a little bit of fading which you can fix with the heat gun you know did a little bit of locking ODI grips although I like the road grips better I don't like these as much I'll probably switch those out at some point uh, the biggest thing is I put the HMF exhaust on it which makes it sound so much better these things are Yamaha you know race quads are way too quiet factory so that really livened it up and I've got an HMF fuel optimizer to put on it at some point it has a tusk rear axle I'm debating whether what to do with this guy either just keep it and not worry about doing anything to it or I'm also contemplating putting the yellow and black plastics on it to make it look like an SE. Uh, because the cool thing about these is it actually has a digital gas, ga digital dash that shows speed and mileage and hours. Uh, they only did that from 09 to 2012, so that's kind of a cool thing. I'd hate to lose that. So I may do that. I may just not touch it or I may put the SE plastics on it, maybe some wheel spacers and switch out uh, do some pro taper bars and get those up a little higher. I don't like how low the handlebars feel. Overall, it's pretty comfortable, but obviously, as you can see, it's really it's narrower than it should be, especially compared to like the YFZ. I feel like it needs to be wider, and the handlebars need to be a little taller, and it'll be good to go. And then back behind us, of course, a uh, couple of videos on my 2019 Ford Raptor. Uh, which is a pretty awesome truck and I really enjoyed owning and then I've got for the two-wheeled fans I this isn't mine but I'm basically the caretaker of it this is my girlfriend's son's Honda CRF 250 X it's a really cool bike I've got some videos on it so the X is made specifically for the trails it has this killer Shawa suspension this thing just soaks up the bumps uh, it's got a really cool gearing uh, it's got nice low gear for first gear for climbing, but it's also will rev out nicely. So it's a really, really fun bike to ride. It's a great way to get into trail riding, but it's fast enough that you won't stay bored. Uh, this thing could really use some new plastics. They're pretty faded. Last time he rode, he managed to bend the breakaway lever. So much for breakaway. Those need to be replaced. It really just needs to be, needs a little TLC. Uh, needs the headlight kit fixed up. and. New plastics would do it wonders. It does have the really cool trail tech with the speedometer, odometer, and uh, temperature and clock. But yeah, it just needs a little TLC, but really great running bike and a lot of fun to ride. And then last but not least for two-wheeled fans, uh, I noticed a couple of guys. I know One Wheel and Pete Hager are all mountain bikers as well. This is my specialized stump jumper carbon six fatty. So it's got the three inch wide wheels on it this is the way to go for mountain biking if you ride anywhere any kind of technical riding way to go with guide brakes uh, carbon fiber mainframe uh, it has the middle of the road rock shocks suspension it's decent uh, but really fun bike to ride so that's my garage check oh and i've got actually one other atv but it's not here right now i have a 2008 yamaha 350 wolverine that I've got a preview video on. It's actually at the shop. Uh, they're doing a donor transplant. I traded a mini bike for it, and then I traded some stereos for a good running motor, and hopefully I'll get that back soon and do a review on that. And we'll see what happens in 2022. This guy's probably gonna go on the chopping block to be sold after the Christmas thing wears out. People start getting money again and tax returns. Uh, and then the Warrior will probably be sold at some point, quite possibly. I think everybody else will most likely stay, but you never know. All right, everybody, thanks for watching.
Happy New Year.